Hello, Dr. Coker here, and this is a guide to the Katana Ravel. Almet referred us to this place to help us find the Light Warden of Rectika Greatwood. Please like and subscribe. I'm releasing guides for every story dungeon and trial in the game, so you always know what's coming. Let's get started. In the first trash run here, you'll encounter these dreamers which blast you with beams coming from statues. Just watch to see which statues the dreamer tethers with, then hide behind the nearby walls appropriately. The first boss is Lozadl. He usually opens with Stone Fist, a simple tank buster. Use mitigation and healing as needed. With Sun Toss, he'll put an AoE circle under a random player. Just step aside to avoid the damage. With Lozadl's Scorn, you will notice a glowing statue on one side of the room. Get to the other side, because the side with the statue will be blasted for heavy damage. Lozadl has a combo with Heat Up and Lozadl's Fury. First, one of his shoulders will glow and smolder. Then he'll cast his Fury. Get away from his side with the glowing shoulder and wait on the opposite side as that half of the arena will be blasted with damage. Late in the fight, you will contend with the Scorn and the Fury at the same time, so you'll have to pay attention to the glowing statue and the shoulder at the same time. There is always a safe area remaining though. The second boss is Bat Squatch. He has a simple tank buster named Ripper Fang. Just use mitigation and healing as needed. Soundwave deals moderate damage to all players. Just heal through it. With Subsonics, the bat will stomp the ground repeatedly for raid-wide damage and AoE circles will appear on the floor to avoid. At the end of it, pillars will spawn in the largest circles. Stand near the base of a pillar, but toward the edge of the arena. After a couple seconds, the pillars will fall, and this will help you avoid the damage. The third boss is the Light Warden, Eros. He opens with Rend, a simple tank buster. Just mitigate and heal as needed. With Hound Out of Heaven, the boss will tether to one player. This player should run from the boss until the tether turns purple, which won't prevent damage, but it will prevent a nasty debuff. Glossolalia deals unavoidable damage to all players, just heal through it. He has a three-part combo, beginning with Viper Poison. You'll see several AoE circles on the floor. Stay away, as they will be blasted with poison which leaves puddles behind. Then he'll cast Inhale, which pulls all players toward the boss. This is followed by Heaving Breath, which will shove all players forward across the floor. Just position yourself such that you won't be pushed into any poison puddles. Late in the fight, he'll cast Confession of Faith, which works in one of two ways. If there is a stack marker on one player, everyone should stack right in front of the boss to defuse the damage but also because the two sides will be struck with lightning. If instead there are spread apart markers on some players, then all players should spread apart while moving to the sides to avoid the fire that blasts through the middle. And that's it for the Katana Ravel. Good luck, thanks for watching, and see you next time.